الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا محمد وعلى سهم جمعين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد Dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam I wish to greet you with our greetings of Islam Assalamu alaikum Peace be upon all of you here I'm really happy and pleased that I'm here tonight with you. Thank for for the invitation. Uh, I would like to say salam, our respected Nablana and all of you here. I really enjoyed this program and uh, this is my first time that I'm here and uh, hopefully, inshallah, it will be not uh, it will be not last. Uh, what to say? Uh, actually, you know, when we imams take mic, <laughs> it could take <laughs> time. <laughs> But inshallah, we'll try to make it uh, short, inshallah. Uh, the event and the occasion is very uh, huge, is blessed. As you know, the, we celebrate uh, in this month, Rabi'u Awal, around the world, in Muslim world, we celebrate the birth of Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad. Uh, this is something uh, that we back in Bosnia and also here, we have our new mosque in Shoreline. Uh, I would like to invite you to come to visit. It's not too far from here, like 10 minutes drive. And uh, last Saturday we celebrate uh, the birth of our Prophet Muhammad alayhi salam. It was... Uh, Muhammad. Uh, similar way with youth, with people, you know, we do some mablood and so on. Uh, as you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described our Prophet as in Quran, I think uh, verse 45, uh, a chapter surah 45, verse 16, uh, as Siraj Munir. What is meaning Siraj Munir? Uh, like the lamp who gives light. So our Prophet Muhammad was that lamp that, give, that gave light in his time and actually that light uh, expanded all through the uh, ages until today inshallah and until the judgment day that uh, we will have his shafat inshallah. So brothers and sisters I would like to just remind and invite uh, myself and all of you and especially out our uh, youth, our kids, to exercise this Siraj Munir, to, to exit this light. As you know, today we Muslims are in some, uh, let's say, position, a little bit weak, divided in some way, and we need that light. We need that light to be spread around us and also shared with uh, other uh, Allah's creatures, not only with us Muslims, but with, with other our friends, non-Muslims. Uh, also, I invite you to don't be, let's say, desperate, don't lose hope, don't lose uh, heart. As you know, history was on our side. Muhammad salam was tempted, even in his time, there were some people they wanted to even to kill him but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had mission for him and also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had mission for us just to give you one example how uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect and he will protect until judgment day his religion true religion uh, you know Mongols when they came they destroyed everything on their path southward westward but they could not resist to that one appeal. What appeal? La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah. So they were stopped at that famous battle, Ain Jalut, by Mamluk Sultan. Babers, 1260, 1260. On that time, after that battle that Muslims won, whole world feel little, uh, the huge amount of relief because Mongols, they destroyed everything. But as you know, after that, as time went on, 
Mongols accepted Islam. And as you know, from there, there is Mughal Empire, Mughal emperors who ruled India for centuries. You see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect and helped his religion. So today, inshallah, in these times, we need to have hope, we need to work together. And the real question is, in this process that Allah leads, our Lord, the true question is, will we, will we be part of that process? Or we will that just take care about us, our careers, our life, you know. So that is the question. So my message is, let's little bit in this time, in this Rabi level, make some pause, reflect uh, about ourselves, our families, our communities. Think about what our Prophet Allah did with his Bedouins. And also, I would like to encourage you, and I mean all of, all of us, to read what others say, said about Prophet Allah because you know sometimes when we Muslims among ourselves talk about our values we know that our Prophet is the, he was the greatest man who ever walked on this planet but when we say to that you know other people let's say non-Muslims outside they, they do not pay attention because it's normal they, it's, it's our Prophet but when those outsiders and non-Muslims says about Prophet Salam, everybody stop and pay attention just give you one example, I hope you heard about Michael Hart in his book, The 100 Men uh, in History you know he, he put on the first uh, the first place he put our Prophet Muhammad alayhi salam Allahumma salli Allah Muhammad and just uh, one second part is you know Thomas, Thomas Carlyle uh, in one his book I think something about heroes on heroes and her heroic in history he wrote, he wrote about Muhammad how he was he was just raising question how one man single handedly could put together peace between those Bedouins those uh, tribes and to create for them what the strongest world civilization so he wrote about that so brothers and sisters, dear Mavlana, all of you, uh, I'm inviting you to remember Prophet Al-Islam all the time. Pass those, uh, his, uh, how he worked hard. So today we need, uh, we cannot just sit, we need to work hard. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for help. And share pro the, the, the prophetic teachings, Al-Islam not just among ourselves but to others I think in this society this beautiful society we as Muslims have so many things to uh, give and offer to our non-Muslim non friends it's up to us so thank you so much for this nice and beautiful program may Allah bless you may Allah reward you I wish you everything best and I hope that we will work together that we will spread the teachings of Prophet ﷺ first of all to ourselves, to our youth and then inshallah to others Assalamu alaikum